to Anna at AFSAC. Are we back? Y'all are back. We're back. <laughs> All right. Um, you answered part of my question already, sir, but I'm just going to ask it the way it's in front of me. Um, it says, I've heard that there's possibly a 20% pay cut to our airmen's salaries. If this is true, what services on base are going to try to help the family still get the goods and services that they need on the budgets that they will have? Yeah, so uh, there will be no cut to salaries. Uh, so if there is word out there on the street that that's the case, uh, there's nothing about sequestration or anything that's talking about cut to salaries. Uh, now, uh, you know, truth in lending here, as the services go forth over the course of, you know, the next, I don't know, five or ten years, uh, and new members begin, begin to come in, uh, you know, we will have to look at these new kids coming in, do they get the same entitlements that uh, we get as service members now. Uh, I don't know whether or not the U.S. government will be able to fully afford the sort of entitlements that we get now as service members. Uh, and as you well know, our, uh, when I say entitlements, that, that sounds uh, like a derogatory term, but it is, you know, the health care we get, the retirement benefits we get, uh, they are, they're pretty healthy and, and pretty impressive, and, and we should all feel fortunate that the U.S. government has, has taken care of us as well as they have. The question is, can the U.S. government continue to afford to do that? And I think as, uh, as the services and as, you know, Capitol Hill and the, and the president and others look at this in the future, in the future, then, you know, some hard decisions are going to have to be made on whether or not we can fully afford to provide the new guys coming in uh, the same benefits we got. But for right now, there, there is no anticipated cut in any of the airmen's uh, salaries.